What is up you guys? It's Nat. Welcome to my video. Today we are building ugh, <laughs> We're building a bungalow, a bungalow style home and okay, I feel like I got to get this out of the way, guys. This video took me way too long to uh record. I feel like this could have been so much shorter. I just feel like I have never built a bungalow style home before. And everybody is probably like uh bungalow oh boy it's it's just like a house like what's the big deal like well you know different style of houses come with their own problems I guess you could say so I've never ever done a bungalow style before just because like they're not awkwardly shaped I feel like they're more elongated but uh or how do I say this because not vertically but like you know from front to back they're usually a bit more elongated at, like based on all the floor plans I looked at anyway when I was researching the topic, uh, they're more elongated front to back uh, than they are side to side, which, you know, normally if you had like an elongated house to side to side, uh, be more like a ranch style. Well, this is a bungalow and it, it just came with a whole bunch of darn nonsense. So <laughs> I uh, also it probably didn't help that I recorded this in two parts because I started recording uh, the first part of it last night because I didn't think it would take that long. Um, but I went into it kind of with a plan. I had a floor plan, um, pretty much knew what I was going to do, but then just, I don't know. I think it was just because of how late at night it was. I don't do very good late at night anymore. I need my beauty sleep, guys. So yeah, it just, it wasn't a good mix. Eh, so probably could have been a lot short. You're going to see as we go through it, just with the interior, I start to get really, really picky, which I hate sometimes because I can be a perfectionist. I'm not angry with this house. I actually don't mind it that much. <laughs> I don't mind my own house. <laughs> like, I mean, I like it. Okay. I do like it. Uh, definitely better than some other stuff I've built. Uh, that cottage I post on here was kind of a disaster, but um, I just wish I wasn't as picky and maybe I'd more so stuck to my plan. Um, but really quickly, where my notes go? Uh-oh. Oh, I put them right by my dog's butt. That was a good idea. So I have some notes here because I don't know how uh, interested you guys are in this. But I thought I would just talk about what a bungalow really is really quickly and just why I had issues with it. And I know I explained the whole uh, being elongated in a strange way. Also, yeah, I tried working in a basement. We do wind up keeping the basement, but like that serves its own problems. Um, but let's see, bungalow, bungalow. Okay. <laughs> Literally I wrote in my notes, what makes a bungalow? Well, usually they are one story tall. Um, but they will have, uh, like dorm style roofs. Uh, like how usually I put in like my Cape Cod homes. You'll see that's like a common style here as well. Um, they have low horizontal lines and orientation, whatever the heck that means. <laughs> low pitched gable or hipped roofs which is why I stuck with yep with dormers as well uh, they have overhanging eaves now they usually have um, exposed like beams inside the house but obviously in sims you can't exactly do that um, so yeah I uh, was missing out on that but here you see like right there I was building that wall and then go against it uh, it's because really another style in bungalows is having like open living space like open uh, floor plans so like open dining, kitchen, living room kind of, which is why I try to do most of my builds anyway, but it just, when I was putting that wall in, I was like, no, that feels like too closed in. So you're also going to see in this build, I jump around a lot because I started to get frustrated with myself, um, especially this layout right here, because what I was trying to do was I was trying to do a master bedroom with an ensuite bath, but I also wanted a separate bath on the first floor for guests, um, just a smaller one. Uh, probably in the kitchen, which I do think it winds up going. It's like right next to the kitchen, but the door to it is actually in the dining room, which I, I it, it, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but the dining room, it's a bit cut off, but it is still technically open. Um, but it's not exactly where I wanted to be. I actually wanted there to be a separate foyer for the back porch. Uh, and that was going to be a bit more open space. And I actually thought about, cause there is, I believe we have like a, eco-friendly pack coming out for the sims at some point this year and they're going to finally feature laundry i believe and a common thing in the sims 3 for me in my house was always a laundry room 
Uh, Cause I just, I love that aspect of the game. I think it makes it more realistic. So I was going to kind of make my own laundry room and be like, Hey, you know, when this comes out uh, X number of months or weeks or whatever down the road, you can actually switch this around and replace these countertops with laundry machines or laundry machines. That sounds weird. Well, you get my drift. I hope. If you don't, I'm, I, I apologize. <laughs> but um, it just, I don't know. I had the floor plan all laid out. And I just, I feel like sometimes when you have it planned and you start trying to put it into like a 3D space like The Sims, it just winds up not working out. I, you know, you... And I probably could have spent more time, but I just started getting flustered because I was like, I'm trying to keep these videos shorter. Unless if they're like, you know, big houses, I think it makes more sense that like, um, the videos are longer. But I feel like for a smaller bungalow like this, like I really don't feel like it's that big. I think it was just me really being picky. So I started trying to figure out this <laughs> space and it, it's, ugh, you know, I, I wind up figuring it out, but you're going to see me for a while struggling. So I apologize for that. But uh, if we go back to my notes here, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, they often have uh, wide front porches. They also feature, like, you know, back patio space, decks. Um, those are a common thing. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> small square footage, which, I mean, this house isn't huge. So I think I kind of nailed that. Uh, rustic exterior. I, 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 I did that right. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, open living dining, small bedrooms, which I do think I did, built-ins. That's why I did built-in closets, and I actually had an idea um, to design my own, like, built-in uh, bookshelves, kind of, like, uh, little nook spaces, I guess. Um, sometimes you go to houses, they have built-in shelving, and it's like it's a bookshelf that's built into the wall. I was thinking about doing that, but just, I got so fed up with myself last night, I was like, you know what, I'll experiment on that in a different video. <laughs> Um, fireplace in a large living space. I think we definitely got that down. And then uh, low dividing walls if needed, which we do have a dividing wall for the staircase to the basement. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much my notes here. In case if you're curious, um, most bungalows as well also have uh, kind of emphasized uh, front deck areas. Uh, the pillars are usually bigger if you like actually Google, uh, bung I can't talk today. <laughs> if you Google bungalow style houses, they have these like huge, uh, pillars, sometimes like half stone, half wood. Um, and we didn't really like, we have them in the Sims kind of, but nothing like what I was seeing on Google. And so you may have seen me, like, I was trying to actually build my own with, like, half walls, walls. It just, it didn't look right to me. So I just wound up going with the wood. I think it's fine. <sighs> what are we doing here? Oh, we're working on the bathroom. Yeah, oh, we're going to finally actually talk about what's going on in the build right now. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, and, like, again, I knocked down this wall because it's just not working for me. And then don't I wind up adding? I think I add on a bump out uh, that will lead to the back deck. And it gives us some more space in the dining area. And that also gives me an excuse to make a, a roof covering, a roof covering, I don't know, a, a deck covering with a roof. Oh, uh, you know, I don't, you'll see it when it happens. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I am so sorry. I'm going to put my notes back by my dog's butt because I'm kind of tired of holding them because I just, I don't know what to do with myself when I uh, do these builds, especially when they take like 30 minutes to get that, like, because right now, okay, we're at about nine minutes. So frankly... If this was like a 20 minute build, I'd be half done. I'd be like, all right, cool. But we're only like a third of the way done. Oh, I hope you guys can't hear that in the background. Come on, man. Motorcycle going down my street. So I apologize if you heard that. Sip my water. Do, do, do. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, okay. And see, this is what I'm talking about. I get really, really picky. Like I'm picking cabinets and I don't know what to do. And I want an island, but it's not working for me. And I just... Uh, I feel like I just need to be more um, assertive with my builds. Just say, no, you know what? This is what I want to do. So I'm going to do, do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I just, I get really uh, picky about what I want. Like, this is why I feel like I might make a good interior designer in real life because I am picky until I figure out exactly what I want to do. Like, when I have a house one day, oh, man, it's like... <sighs> Step aside, everybody. Let Nat make all the decisions. Um, 
But then I feel like it'll also, it'll either be really quick, because sometimes I can get a bill done really fast, and it'll be just really quick, and I'll be like, yep, that's what I want, boom. Or I'll be like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I want, and then I'll sit there for like three months, and the house will be unfinished, and oh, I'll be living, I'll be living in a garbage can. That's, that, that's where you go, when your house is being, uh remodeled you live in a garbage can you don't you don't go stay in a motel or anything you stay in a garbage can what am i talking about right now we're about 10 and a half minutes in and i literally don't know what i'm talking about this is such a mess and we have like 20 minutes to go oh uh, well hey how are you guys i don't know how many of you are gonna watch this video but hey what's up how are you uh it's three o'clock on a monday i was hoping to be getting this voiceover done this morning but it took me so gosh darn, gosh darsh darsh. Oh, FML. It took me so long. Here we go. So long to get this bill done, especially in part two. Just, ugh. Like, literally part two, I had to finish the living room, do the basement, do the outside. Okay, so maybe that is kind of a lot, but it, it didn't seem like as much. And just, oh, it was such a mess. Um... Oh, but yeah, I keep talking about this basement, but you guys have no idea yet. Uh, so this basement that I have, it features um, kind of a half uh, in-law apartment. It's really more of just a, a bedroom and an ensuite. Uh, really what it is, it's not a complete like in-law apartment where you might have like a small kitchenette, small living space. No, it's literally just uh, a bedroom. So honestly, um, like my neighbors, for instance, their kids, uh, while they were growing up in the house did have bedrooms in the basement because they had three sons. So, I mean, technically speaking, you could have um, more family live down there. Well, I mean, I guess you would. <sighs> what am I trying to say right now? You could have it as a guest space. You could have it as like a incomplete in-law apartment where maybe if you have your uh, parent sims as they get older, maybe have them move in with you. Something you might do in real life. Um, or if the parent sims just get old and I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the kids take over the house. Maybe they just go in the basement. I don't know. Whatever it is. Uh, I made it to be more of just a, a backup bedroom. You can move your kids down there if you want. I've done it in the Sims before. Um, actually in my legacy that I just played for a little while, I had my second gen, uh, son staying with the family. He had a fiance and they were just kind of uh, living in the house. So what I did was I did a basement. They had a small living space, small bathroom. They had their own bedroom. Um, I didn't do a kitchenette or anything because I didn't see the point of it. But, like, that is something that you can do and that people do, like, do. Like, uh, in my house, for example, it's very, very old. Uh, it's an old ranch. And a long time ago, the basement used to actually be, like, an apartment space. Um, I don't know that there was necessarily a kitchen, but there was, like, a small study you have the boiler room. Um, there was like an apartment and it just looked like it would have been like a bedroom and it had actually kind of like a bungalow. It had, uh, lots of like built-ins, uh, lots of built-in cabinets, uh, bookshelves, storage spaces, like all built into the wall. Um, but <laughs> it has since been kind of, uh, destroyed and our basement is a mess and I don't really go down there. <laughs> but <clears throat> anyway, that that basement space you can do whatever you want with it i think it came out fine i think it's good for just a guest bedroom or a small in-law apartment whatever you want to do with it i don't know why it's taking me so long to explain this but here we are working on the dining room trying to figure out what i want to do with that wall oh and there's that door to that bathroom i guess i must have finally figured out that bathroom situation um, I mean, I don't mind it there because it's like right next to the kitchen. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather see a door to a bathroom in the kitchen than in the dining room, you know? Um, God, I gotta stop saying, um, too. Um, 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 <laughs> Should just one day, maybe like, I don't know, however long from now, just go back to all my videos and just clip out all the times I ever said, um. And see, just do like a, a counter, I guess, in a video. And I just, it would be very interesting. It'd be a lot of ums. It'd probably be like an hour's worth of, no, two hours worth of ums. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, just trying to figure out what to do with these like random wall spaces. Uh, right here, I was getting picky because I had remembered I had seen 
a small grouping of like family photos somewhere in the like the artwork and that one that I end up with like the the millions of pictures of like sailboats and stuff at first I thought that's what it was but then I realized oh no there's actually like a much smaller one I think I find it later on the build but this random wall hanging I really like it especially for more contemporary style builds so I feel like I just kind of or traditional I don't know contemporary traditional whatever you want to call it I feel like I used a lot so I grabbed it and I'm trying to get into the habit of using these small like uh, hutches uh, and just like little uh, sort of end tables, like little display tables, I guess, because I have them in my house, but for some reason I've never just thought to use them. I feel like, because as I said, my uh, teenage girl bedroom build, you just in the Sims, you think, okay, what does my Sim need to function? And you put that in there. You don't necessarily say like, oh, well, in real life, in my bedroom, I have I have two bureaus or I have a dresser and a bureau. Um, in my living room, I have this little like display end table thing, or I have this little hutch next to this cabinet. Like you just, you know, cause your Sim can't necessarily interact with it. So I just feel like you kind of just put in what they need. Uh, but anyway, getting off track there. Um, this is about where part two begins. I start trying to figure out this living space. And then last night, like, uh, my partner was going to bed and I was like, you know what? Bed sounds really nice. So I too went to bed and just picked up with this uh, this morning after my little hike. Uh, yeah, I went for a hike with my dog this morning. And um, I don't think I've talked about him much yet, but his name is Charlie. He is a yellow lab and he is turning 14. He's a really old dog. Um, and recently we lost his sister, which was very unfortunate. Um, don't mind me, just need a sip of water. Uh uh, um, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but we had to put her to sleep, unfortunately. Uh, she was 15, I think. She was very old. Uh, Black Lab. Like, best dog ever. I've had her since she was a little puppy, so it was very unfortunate. And <sighs> that's kind of weird. I started YouTube, like, maybe a month after her passing. I wonder if her death had anything to do with it, because I just feel like I was so depressed because I didn't know how to cope with the loss. Because my first time, I've lost a dog before. I've lost other pets before. But I lost a dog buddy a couple years ago. Um, but I had never been there to put a dog to sleep. So I kind of dealt with the guilt for the first time of like, you know, did I do something wrong? I mean, I listened to the vets and did what I knew was best. And my parents and I went together. But, you know, you just you sit there and you wonder, uh, did I do the right thing? Um, but I know in the end that I did right by her because she was in a lot of pain. But anyway, that's weird. I wonder if I kind of got the kick in the butt to get back into this sooner because maybe the depression, I don't know, maybe it was my way of coping with it. That's kind of weird to think about. But anyway, um, but yeah, we lost a sister recently and I've been trying to give him more attention because I feel like, especially ever since Cleo passed, I was, uh, working out a lot. I am overweight. I've been trying to lose weight, um... I'm definitely not, like, the biggest person or anything, but I am overweight. I do have a bit of a chunky monkey belly going on. <laughs> and uh, so I'm trying to better myself before it's too late. I mean, I think, like I've said, I'm 23. Um, and when I finished off high school, I was always a bit heftier, but I wasn't that bad. But, like, over the course of college, I put on, like, 50 pounds. Anybody who is going to college... Um, just beware of your cafeteria food. If you live on campus, be aware of what you are eating because I wasn't. I just kind of went bananas and would eat whenever, whatever, because, you know, you're trying to balance a couple jobs, a couple classes here and there. It's a pain. I put on, you know, they talk about the freshman 15. Well, I gained the college 50 and now I'm struggling to lose it. So keep that in mind if you're going off to college. Just be very aware of what you are eating and if they have a gym, use it. Because I had a gym for four years where I didn't have to pay for the membership and I went a handful of times. Use it, guys. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, goodness. What am I going on about now? Ah! Oh, well, so we were out hiking. And ever since Cleo's passed away, my... Excuse me. My uh, fitness plan has kind of been like pushed to the side because of my depression but today I was like you know what it's I haven't been fair to Charlie he can't make it that far walking wise because he is so old but he still likes to go out so I still like to take him to the park he likes to go swimming 
all this fun stuff. So I was finally like, you know what? Hey, let's uh, let's take him out. I have to get some exercise in anyway. Uh, but that was my morning, so I did that. But I also woke up late, which is unfortunate because I'm also trying to fix that. So you guys can tell, like, I, I'm just a college graduate who doesn't have a steady job yet, and I'm just failing at life right now. Um... <laughs> trying to balance walking my dog and doing YouTube and trying to find work. It's, it's terrible. Um, especially considering I didn't even graduate this year. I graduated last year. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, be prepared for that. If you are graduating college, um, if your college has any means of helping you, um, please, please use their tools. Cause while they didn't have much for me, they did have stuff for other people. Um, I have some friends who are like, you know, social workers and they get jobs from the school, which is great. Uh, but I was an art student, so, you know, didn't really help me. <sighs> but, I mean, I've been working some contract positions, which is great. I just wish, uh, you know, I mean, last year I didn't have anything at all. It was my freelance and that was it. I didn't have any contract positions with any companies. Um, finally had a couple this year. Uh, looking for another one right now, but it'd be great if somebody would just offer me something full time. But again, I, I'm just, you see these voiceovers, I need to try to make these videos shorter so that when I do the voiceover, I'm not sitting here like an idiot rambling about five topics at once. I'm complaining about the job search after college, complaining about gaining weight in college, <laughs> complaining about balancing YouTube and walking my dog, complaining about working out in general. Uh, complaining about the build itself kind of like i'm a mess guys don't mind me but right now we're working on the basement let's just cut off every story i was just complaining about and start talking about the build again <laughs> oh i'm a hot mess if if you do watch me on a regular basis even though i've only been here for about three weeks or so now why do you watch me let me know down in the comments because i don't know why you are supporting this nonsense and putting up with me but i do of course greatly appreciate it all of my followers my new subscribers i think i know i just told someone on twitter that like uh the number doesn't really matter but when i came back to youtube i think i had like 111 subscribers probably all dead accounts just sitting there rotting but um i think i'm up to like 127 right now so that means what i've gained like 16 new people which welcome everybody my 16 brand new subscribers thank you so much for joining me on my journey and um supporting me i think i've said before and i'll say it again you know this is something that i stopped 10 years ago and i have missed it ever since and i wish that i had never stopped i wish that i'd kept uh kept going because I, would I used to have so much fun with this. And I am right now. Like, sometimes I stress about videos and I get fed up with myself in the middle of a build. And I'll be like, ah, it's too late. I hate what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I have issues with my audio while I'm recording. And sometimes I have to sit here and record 30 minutes worth of audio and I have no idea what to say. So it just comes off as randomness and I embarrass myself. But I really do appreciate all of you, you know, joining me on this adventure and... Uh, just, you know, thank you very much, I guess, is all I can say. Um, I know I've said it, the number doesn't matter, and it really doesn't. You know, if I never reach more than, say, 200 subscribers, or if one day I'm lucky enough to even have a thousand of you, I mean, like, I don't know, this is just, it's really cool, and I'm really happy that I live in a time where I can do something that I enjoy and express myself on the internet and there are people out there who are interested in the same things and they're actually willing to take time out of their day to like watch my nonsense uh one of my newer builds i think just hit 50 views today which i know is it sounds like nothing but to me just trying to visualize it that is 50 people who sat there for 10 minutes and listened to me talk about nothing and build a house in a video game that i've been playing for a decade of my life that is to me, I, I know to other people, it's like, oh, that's just 50 views. But to me, it's just crazy. And I, I cannot explain how appreciative I am of that. So seriously, if you are still in this video, because it is a long one and I do apologize. But if you are still here and if you are, like, you know, subscribed, uh, if you talk to me on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, I mean, seriously, just thank you so, so much. I cannot convey to you how meaningful it is to me that you are all here watching this BS, <laughs> this disaster that i am putting forth i just i don't know thank you guys so much um 
it gives me a reason to wake up every day, I guess. I've been, like I, like I said, after losing my dog and having some issues with finding work, I've just been extremely uh, depressed. And I feel like that's something I want to be open with on this channel is my uh, depression and my mental health. Um, and no, I'm not one of those people who just walks around and goes, oh, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. Like, no, I, I actually got diagnosed in high school. Um, so I've been dealing with my diagnosis for about, let's see, so five, I'd say about six or seven years now. Uh, and it's a, it's a definitely an everyday struggle. And some days are way better than others. Some months and even some years are way better than others. But uh, just as of recent, it's been a little bit hard. But this whole YouTube thing, it while it can be stressful from time to time, it's actually like something that I really look forward to doing every day. So just thank you all so much for uh, joining me here. But wow, okay, I did not plan for this to become a cheesy, corny, sappy, Nat gets touching and thoughtful uh, voiceover, which I apologize for if that made you want to throw up. Um, I just noticed I've been drinking out of two different water bottles on my desk. I just went to go pick one up because I'm getting quite parched from all this blabbing. And <laughs> I have two different water bottles I've been sipping from. That's weird. But, um... Uh, I did not... See... I don't know. I don't script these things because I'm not sure that I should. And I wouldn't know how to anyway because it's, you know, I'm sitting here for maybe 10 minutes, maybe 30 minutes or somewhere in between. And I have to somewhat talk about the build, but I feel like, you know, I want to also talk about life and other things because I feel like if I just sat here and talked about the build, I know there are some simmers who can talk about the build for X number of minutes and they do a fantastic job. But to me, it's like, hey, look, I just... Um, airbrushed that ground to look like this uh, stone and then there I mess it up and I start trying to fix it and it looks like an awkward wave and I hate it and blah 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 like it just ah I don't know I don't know how to talk about the build for x number of minutes while also keeping it interesting like like I started at the beginning of the build I can sit there and go hey this is what wikipedia says a bungalow is and some of you might actually find that interesting and I try to keep it a little bit shorter if I do start saying like well this is the architectural style that the house is and let's talk about that for a quick second like if I keep that short I mean I to me that's interesting but I'm also a design person um I don't know if it's necessarily interesting to all of you. I mean, even if just a chunk of you find it interesting, I hope that you do. I guess if you don't, you can skip over the, like, minute that I spent talking about it. But, you know, I just... It, it can be hard to just sit here and talk about a build. Um, so, you know, I want to talk about life, I guess. And I feel like, uh, you know, it's like I said, if I only ever hit 200 subscribers, if even that, or if I hit 1,000, or... If I'm really, really lucky and get even more than that, I just, I want us all to be, you know, chill and I want us to be friends and I want to, you know, kind of make this a community. And I know other YouTubers talk about that, like having a community online, but honestly, just, you know, I feel like we have such little time here. We need to spend it wisely. And if we're going to do something like this, like, you know, let's spread some positivity, uh, just especially in this, uh world that we live in right now. I feel like everything is a mess around me and I don't know what to do. And I feel like that's been a big part of my depression is just how crazy the world is right now. Um, but if I can make like anybody think ever so slightly differently or just, you know, spread some positivity online and make some friends along the way to me, then that's amazing. And that's totally worth it. So let's do that. I don't know. I'm getting sappy again. And guess what? It looks like I stepped away from the computer for this part of the build. I was trying to make it as short as possible, and I was editing out as many pauses as I could find, but I did not find that one. I think it was only like 10 seconds long, though, so I th that's not terrible, right? But, oh boy, I can't believe I missed that one. Oh, whatever. But I just, I can't believe how sappy I'm getting this episode, because I had, I swear to you guys, I had no intentions of getting sappy, and I apologize. Oh, look, I put in gnomes. Yeah, I put in gnomes for the first time. I've never done garden gnomes in The Sims because they totally freak me out because I just don't like gnomes. I don't like anything that can resemble a doll in real life. Freak me out. No. <laughs> so putting in gnomes is a new thing for me and I might start doing it more because I don't know, they kind of dress up the place, but I'm more of a flamingo guy. I actually have two lawn flamingos in my bedroom right now. And I obviously do not have a lawn in my bedroom, so I don't know why I have them. But anyways, I apologize for getting super sappy in this episode. I'll try to keep that to a minimum. 
I might become one of those sap YouTubers because like I said, I am super appreciative to all of you who take the time out of your day to watch my videos, to watch my insanity. I think we're about to hit screenshots. Oh, finally, thank goodness this, this uh, voiceover is over. But... Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I got super sappy. I swear I didn't mean to. And I also swear that I did not mean for this to become a 30-minute video. My goal was to have it to be 20 or 25. Uh, but I got super duper picky with the interior. So I apologize for that. But thank you so very much for watching. Please feel free, as always, to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow me over on Twitter. If you want to deal with my nonsense over there as well, get some updates. And, uh, oh! Before I forget, <laughs> this is available for download on The Sims 4 Gallery, whatever I have titled it, because I don't know yet. It's going to be a bungalow something. Uh, you'll be able to figure it out. You'll see it. And uh, obviously, uh, search hashtag it's Nat. You will find all my builds there, including this one. <laughs> this got really awkward because I forgot what I was saying because uh, I got distracted. But <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.